It's a good evening in College Park, Maryland, 64, Michigan, 58. It's nice to beat the Michigan Wolverines. Finally a win against Hunter Dickinson and Juwan Howard Screw. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Mason, what did you see and why did Vegas think the Terps are a three-point favorite? Well, I got no idea why Vegas thought the Terps were a three-point favorite. I certainly uh, wouldn't have put it that way, but Maryland came out and they proved uh, that it's. I think really they proved how hard it is to win on the road tonight. The energy in the building, the early points, and it looks like Maryland's finally worked their way out of those early game slumps. I, a, a bit. They actually had the lead all night. It's, it's a rarity for a Maryland basketball team to play like that. Maryland 3-4 and four now in the Big Ten. Michigan 4-3. and three. Interesting to me, Michigan came into the game with their net at 73. Maryland ranked 51. And that's before the game. Maryland's certainly well ahead of Michigan in the standings. A big moment that proved that the team's coming together. There's some depth. Caleb Swanton Rogers comes in and actually plays basketball. They played well. He had blocks. He had dunks. Where have they been hiding this kid from Canada all season? Yeah, I mean, he's gotten his spots. He just hasn't taken them. And tonight he took uh, a big-time assignment, one of the best big men in all of college basketball, um, and, and just really owned his minutes. But he didn't get back in in the second half. Not sure if... Um, Willard just didn't like the way, you know, didn't think he could keep it up or, or, or what that was about. I'm sure he'll answer that question uh, in the press conference. It was really, really good, Wayne, to see somebody come in here and everybody just boo every time he gets the ball. I don't, I don't know if you caught that, but we, we don't get that much it, it uh, was anymore. Fun. But it, it's, it's nice to, you know, we don't really have teams that we hate anymore, but it's nice to have a player that brought that old, like, you know, ACC rivalry kind of feel to the building. Oh, I think the whole crowd the whole Maryland crowd dislikes Michigan enough and Michigan State and every once in a while Purdue or in Iowa. But no, it's not the same. We reminisced about that, that you know, you used to come to these games, it's a long time ago, and the place was packed an hour before it was cold field house, it was packed, it was hot, and the crowd wasn't great, but the game was good enough for Maryland. Look, you got a few games that actually mean something, and you went on the road and got pounded by Michigan. This was a game that was more than just about basketball. This is a bit about pride. And Maryland came out, and as usual, when Jameer Young's the best player on the court, Maryland wins. Tonight, Jameer Young, best player on the court. It's exciting. There's this lineage of point guards now that sort of is a mellow to cow and to fats, and you can add Jameer Young to that. And we'll be back in a moment. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Maryland wins. It's great to say. With Viner Four Gates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Four Gates, where making your company work is our primary mission. All right, as the clock winds down here in College Park, Bruce, what'd you see tonight? A great effort by Maryland. It's hard to imagine after the last game in Michigan that it could turn around like this. But Jameer Young was special, and the whole team was special, and they got a big lift from number 35, Swanton Rogers, in the first half, although we didn't see him in the second half. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm at 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. on the floor at Xfinity Center. One of the things that you notice, Kevin Willard versus Juwan Howard, those coaches bring some energy. Uh, I, both of them uh, needed to be calmed down a bit. You don't see that as much anymore. There's a little more calmness in coaching. What do you make of that? 
I think Kevin Willard is one entertaining coach to watch on the sideline. I mean, the, the shot clock violation that was not called, I think, you know, Willard that close to getting teed up. Jawan obviously has, has taken it to another level uh, in times past. Now he doesn't, but ultimately today, you know, Merrill beat a 10 and 17 that's 72nd ranked in the net. It was a big win, I think, for the players to inspire that they, they can against some of these teams that have gotten the better of them in that in that lull that they had there that was real ugly. But ultimately, you know, you're back at it Sunday. A Purdue team that absolutely not before with Minnesota tonight. And uh, another big man that's going to be really, really hard for Maryland to handle. Uh, I think possibly the biggest man in all of college basketball, He's Edie from Purdue. If you tape Juju to Caleb Slot and Rogers together, they might be able to cover that guy. Look, Maryland's got to make the game about speed. Got to make it about what you saw tonight. Is Jameer Young's the best player on the court? And yeah, Dickinson can block some shots, but when Jameer Young had his angle of attack, got to where he wanted on the floor, the shot wasn't blocked. When he was out of rhythm and had to make up a shot at the last moment, they got a couple blocks think, back at him. I think that a lot of the focus when you talk about like you know how Maryland compete in football games or how any team competes when uh, they're they're. You know, don't have the best matchups on the court is you have to really focus on what you do best as a team and make the game about that. And if you go back and watch the games, the Ohio State game, the game tonight, when Maryland was successful in the game, when they went on runs, it was all about them speeding the game up, quick baskets, and then look, you got to make some shots with the with the five guys that are on the floor. You got to hit some of those end of the shot clock plays. And one of the things you have to focus on is when the play, you can't ever stop. When Dante Scott, the ball can't die with Dante Scott. Dante Scott, and and that's something that Maryland needs to focus on, is not letting the ball die in anyone's hands, and, and that's just when they, they die on offense as a team, when they just hold the ball and they're looking for those last second shots, but a real test uh, on the road on Sunday. And as usual, throughout the Turgeon era and, and now into the Willard era, the game ends at the free throw line, and Maryland makes enough free throws to put this one away. Uh, there still is a season. There were a couple minutes there in the past few games when you wondered what was going to happen to this team that just couldn't score. As Mason said, that's over now. We've got a season here, and you can see why people were excited. Hopefully the fans will come back. But whether you come back or not, this team's playing. It's taken on the persona sort of of, of Willard now, sort of a, a Gary williams type scrappy team. I love it. The Turks win. And that's enough for me for tonight. Good evening. For Bruce Foster, Mason, and Wayne Viner, this has been the Big Dog Postgame Show.